Emphysema may be defined as the abnormal permanent dilatation of alveolar air spaces caused by alveolar hyperinflation, ossive elasticity and destruction of alveolar walls. Emphysema is a type of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD and it frequently coexists with chronic bronchitis. There are four types of emphysema. Centriasana and panasana emphysema are the important ones that are clinically significant. Paraseptal and irregular emphysema generally don't cause significant clinical problems. By far the most common type of emphysema is centriasana emphysema. This accounts for 95% of cases. As you can tell from the name, the centre of the asinus is destroyed with sparing of the distal asinus. The condition is more severe in the upper lobes, commoner in men, and it is the type of emphysema associated with smoking and coal dust exposure, especially in minors. Centriasana emphysema often coexists with chronic bronchitis. This piece of lung shows features of centriasana emphysema. Panasina emphysema is the type of emphysema associated with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency where the entire asinus is uniformly enlarged and destroyed. And this type of emphysema tends to affect the lower basal zones of the lungs. It is very important that patients with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency are aware that smoking will accelerate the development of emphysema. This is what panasana emphysema looks like with destruction of the fine alveolar architecture. In paraseptal emphysema the distal asinus is dilated and the proximal asinus is normal, hence the term distal asina emphysema. The emphysema tends to be subplural and adjacent to scars and it may form bully up to two centimeters or more across. The upper lobes are more frequently involved and it may present as spontaneous pneumothorax, especially in young adults. This piece of lung shows large subplural bully. Irregular emphysema is usually clinically insignificant but it is probably quite a common type of emphysema as it occurs around scars and areas of fibrosis in the lung and if you look for it uh, you can frequently find it. So one of the common sites is in the apices of the lungs around old healed TB scars. Irregular emphysema is so called because of irregular involvement of the asinus. This is a typical example of the appearance of irregular emphysema. So what actually causes emphysema to develop? It is thought to be due to excess protease activity. Proteases include elastase produced by neutrophil polymorphs and macrophages. These destroy the elasticity of the proximal asinus. Exposure to cigarette smoke and coal dust, for example, will result in excess numbers of neutrophil polymorphs and macrophages in and around the respiratory bronchioles. These cells will produce proteases, destroying the centre of the asinus. The protease activity is counterbalanced by the production of alpha-1 antitrypsin. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency will therefore result in excess protease activity and panasina emphysema. Until a third of the 
functioning lung parenchyma is damaged. Emphysema is symptomless. When symptoms occur, they include breathlessness, but ventilation initially is good, hence the term pink puffers. Other symptoms include cough, wheeze, weight loss, and people with emphysema often have a barrel chest. Complications of emphysema generally occur fairly late on in the disease. They include respiratory infections, right-sided heart failure, pneumothorax and lung collapse if one of the bully bursts, respiratory acidosis, coma and death in severe cases.